So if you're using Google Sheets and you want to count cells if they're not blank, there's a couple different ways to do this and some complications that you might run into. So I'm going to show you the easy way and a little bit harder way if you run into trouble. So first let's start with this range. I'm not including the header, so we're going to do B3 to B9. And this is the easy, straightforward way that'll probably work most of the time. It's a built-in function. It's just count any cell with a value. And here's the range. So it's not counting B5. It's saying 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And if that works for you, then you're done. Don't worry about it. But if we go to column C, things can get a little bit more complicated. You see this one looks like the same number of values, right? It looks like another oh, six in here. But the count A function that has the same range is, is picking up seven. And that's happening because I snuck a space in C5. If I go into this cell, it's a little formula that just says, hey, insert a blank space. You may want to count this. And if that's the case, then, then you're done. Count A will work and the count is seven. But if you don't want to count this blank cell, if you just want to count what appears to have data in it, and you don't really consider an empty space to be data, then you have to use a little bit more complicated formula. So if you look at the function that's in cell C12, it's saying add up everything that this function len returns something greater than zero. And this function's counting the number of characters and I'll show you how this works. If we put the len function over here and I run it on these cells, that one returns a 10, but I'm going to copy it down. And the one with the blank space returns a zero. So this function says one, two, three, four, five, six. So it'll work. It'll, it'll pull out the spaces that don't really have any characters. And if that's what you want, that's the way to get it done. Hope that was helpful. Thanks.